Hey everyone, this is Jack here, and today is a review video of iOS 4.3. So, Apple released iOS 4.3 on Wednesday, two days ahead of schedule, which was surprising for a lot of people. Um, they usually, you know, keep their schedules, but they don't release their stuff earlier than what they uh, they say. So, it was a surprise, and I updated my my uh, two devices, my iPads right next to me, and my iPhone in front of me. So, the on the iPhone, there's not that much. I mean, it wasn't. It's only a point update, so you know dot x update, so it's not going to carry a lot of features. I suspect iOS five in the summer will carry a lot more features, even maybe an improved notification system, an overhauled one. So uh, one of the few improvements in iOS four point three was AirPlay, and now AirPlay works with any app. It doesn't. It's not just limited to Apple's apps, the default ones like you know Photos, iPod, and so forth, and YouTube. AirPlay now works over every app and it just takes a few lines of code in order to uh, enable that for third-party apps. So developers have currently released or releasing you know, updates to their apps that carry the you know, AirPlay functionality. So I can't really show you that because I don't have an Apple TV, I'm, I'm afraid, but um, I wish I did though. So the second improvement is Safari performance and Apple actually managed to uh, extract a Nitro JavaScript engine from the desktop Safari and put it under um, the mobile Safari. So now the speed is up to two x times uh, twice as fast. And I actually have a benchmark here. I didn't run it, so you you know unless you don't believe me for some reason. This is the benchmark from iPhone 4. I just took a few minutes ago, and uh, I got 4,000 something me uh, milliseconds. Uh, before I would get 10,000 something milliseconds. So it's definitely a two x uh, speed boost. And you can view this um, data. You can run it on your own device and you know compare um, so another cool feature that I really I'm really using a lot on my iPad not much on my iPhone is iTunes home sharing and iTunes home sharing is basically this um, idea that you can share all your your con your iTunes library on one computer with all the other computers on your network so if you have a song that you don't you maybe you know you bought on one of your you know desktop computers and you're using your laptop and you can transfer that song keep things in sync without having to you know have uh, have a lot of trouble iTunes home sharing was really cool and now you can actually use it, access it through your iPhone and iPod touch and also iPad and you can stream content from your iTunes library on, and from anywhere in the house uh, onto your uh, mobile device. So what you do is you go to the iPod app and you go to more and you select shared. That will bring up a list of all your shared libraries. I'll choose on my library and it will connect. And this is these are the playlists from my library on my computer um, that's actually in the background here. And we're gonna go ahead and play a song. We're just gonna play something from the Black Eyed Peas. Here you go. Um, and it's played this time or yeah, the time. Uh, let's pause it before I get into any you know YouTube copyright uh, trouble. Uh, but this is streaming from my computer. Oops, that, that's streaming from my computer uh, to my iPhone, and it works over Wi-Fi, but it does not work over you know 3G. So for example, if I brought this to a Starbucks coffee shop and I access the Wi-Fi, I cannot access uh, go, go back to my iTunes and stream content from there. It only works within the same Wi-Fi network. So that's kind of limited. But on the other hand, uh, Apple does have to worry about the you know licensing issues. So the iP on the iPad is actually really something really cool that a lot of people have been asking for, and that is a switchable side switch. And what I mean by that is the iPad has a switch on the side. Um, the iPhone does too, but the iPhone it one it, all it does is mute. The iPad one, it, when it first came out, the iPad the, the switch was for locking the screen to a certain orientation. But and then since um, it, Apple repurposed it to be a mute switch, and now you have the option to choose between the two. Currently, I have it set to as an orientation lock switch. But again, you can switch in the settings to a mute switch. Another feature for the iPhone is iPhone Hotspot. And I don't have, I can't really demo Hotspot. Oops. I can't really demo Hotspot because I don't have that plan associated with the Hotspot. Um, I'm sure, I think it's, it's not the same for every country. Uh, US, you do have to pay that extra $20, $15, $20 to use uh, the Hotspot. So it is in network, I believe. Yeah, it's a network. And uh, it's right here. You can just tap on set up personal hotspot. You can put in a password for your um, and it will, through Wi-Fi. You can you know do it through US, Bluetooth or USB. Um, USB will actually require a cable, which actually charges your phone while you're using the internet connection. So that's kind of a you know good side. And Wi-Fi. Uh, if you use solely Wi-Fi, you can have up to three devices connected to the iPhone um, at one time, or you can have five devices with a combination of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or USB. So that is personal hotspot for iPad or iPhone. 
And it's only available for iPads, it's not available for iP iPad 3G uh, models. And uh, that's pretty much it for you know iOS 4.3. There's not a whole lot of new features. There's just improvements, enhancements, and you know things that are made better over the years or over you know over time. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.